What is a public place of amusement license? A PPA license is required to produce, present, or conduct any type of amusement, venues that charge an admission fee or minimum purchase requirement for any type of entertainment or amusement require a PPA license. Venues with a capacity of 100 or more people that offer any entertainment or amusement require a PPA, regardless if an admission fee is charged or minimum purchase is required. Types of venues that need to apply include, but are not limited to, live theater and concert halls, nightclubs, these are typically smaller, more intimate venues, dance clubs and public dancing areas. A PPA is required if the venue charges admission or minimum purchase and has a total capacity of 100 or more people. Sports stadiums, movie theaters, bowling alleys, Comedy clubs. Venues that offer karaoke or DJ. Businesses with two or more pool tables. Businesses with four or more arcade games. Businesses that rent out their facilities for an event or other amusement that is open to the public. Other requirements for PPA include location, capacity, permits, and inspections. 1 to 149 occupancy permitted in a business, commercial, or downtown zoning district. 150 to 999 occupancy are permitted in the B3, C1 through C3, DC, DX, and DS zoning districts. 1,000 plus occupancy permitted in the B3, C1, C2, C3 only as a mandatory plan development, permitted in the DC, DX, DS as of right now. It is also important to note that in all B and C districts, the site must be located more than 125 feet of an RS1, RS2, RS3 residential zone district. In addition, the site must be more than 200 feet of a church, school, hospital, or building used exclusively for educational purposes. In some cases, a waiver or an appeal may be submitted regarding these requirements. As a general rule, contact a zoning representative for an official ruling. The Department of Business Affairs and Consumer Protection handles the issuing of business licenses and also general grants of privilege for the use of public way. The Chicago Department of Buildings is the department which conducts building inspections and processes, and also issues building permits. A building inspection is required after a PPA application has been submitted but prior to receiving the license. Remember, you must obtain building permits from the Department of Buildings prior to doing any structural build-out or rehab. The Chicago Fire Department does an inspection to make sure that fire safety and prevention measures are in place. Licensing fees are based on two-year terms and vary in price based on the maximum capacity of the establishment. If you are a theater with less than 500 person capacity, you may be eligible to apply for a performing arts venue license, which accommodates smaller theaters. Further information regarding PPAs and PAVs can be found in the City of Chicago's Venue Licensing Toolkit.